Hello. Hello, anybody who's joining the stream. This is a test stream for tonight. I'm going to try to stream the new update that's coming out tonight when it releases. So, anybody sees any problems, if there's any audio issues, if it's lagging or anything, please let me know. I'm just auto wing it while I get some technical stuff set up. So, if you see me fighting anything, I'm just on auto. Let me. I'll turn this to high. So it looks a little bit cleaner for y'all. Add the buzz and arrows and stuff. I'm just setting up some technical stuff, so do that now. Keep dying on auto. That's not good. Lost like ten percent of my XP just now. I have to actually pay attention this second. Everything seems to be good on my side. Oh, run out of there. Once you see the animation go all the way to the end of the screen, you can run straight back in and not be hurt. As long as you're out of it by the time... Oh, I didn't get out. Oh, I got out. Okay. Yeah, as long as you're out before that clips, you should be good. You can just run straight back in even while the red circle's up. And then I got killed from that bandage. Dang it. Oh, get out of 
マストリック。開けるよ。I'm playing the pet build, by the way. Anybody curious about that? Alright, I should be able to focus now. And get all that stuff settled. I'm not using very good arrows right now, by the way. I'm only using green arrows. So I'm just chilling on that. I need to buy some more. But I've been lazy too because I didn't have to really do that yet. At least when I died, I got achievements. That's nice. I should be doing a lot more damage than this. I can't see my damage numbers, it's kind of noise now. There we go. Looks like my pet is doing like 500 per attack or so. Let's go the circle. Everything's going pretty smoothly right now. Very good. Very good. Oh, gotta kill some mobs. So I just use the AOE and I can just clear all these mobs out for the most part. I do not want to whisper anybody. Like I said, um, you're just coming in. I am doing all of this on my phone. I'm testing out. I'm testing out the live stream. If you have any problems or anything that you want to tell me about, let me know. I stood in the poison. I stood in the poison. I uh, stood in the poison. How uh, did I stay in the poison for? I don't know, I've, I've died five times and I've somehow gotten onto the leaderboard after dying that many times. I literally keep auto leaking. I'm not paying attention because I'm looking over at my screen to make sure that all the recording stuff is going well. And even though I've died five times, I'm actually still able to be on the leaderboard. It's hilarious. Am I even like maximizing my skill usage? I have two rotation bars set up. This is for PvE and PvP. So this is my PvE, this is mostly my PvE. Then I have it set to where I swap some of these skills out and then put them on my second bar for PvP. And I can switch between the two when I'm doing PvP. So if I use my first rotation, so this is a rotation that I have. I can swap over to my second rotation during pvp and be able to use more skills that aren't on cooldown and then swap back to my first and all these skills will be off cooldown so that's a little quick tip for y'all i think pvp ended but i can tell you more tricks or tips about archer or or honestly just any class in general for example if your class has buffs you should use your buffs when you're out of dueling and what happens is like uh so potions you use your potions out or if you use your buffs out of, of uh, PvP, you don't have to use them when you go back in. So you can go straight to just attacking. So if somebody else is buffing up, you can go straight to attacking them and catch them off guard. That might be a really good uh, tip for y'all. I learned that after a while. So, and then, like I said, that works for potions too. So if I take potions before I go into a duel, I will be buffed up before I go into the duel, which is pretty sweet. 
Um, it technically works. Uh, in theory, you could actually have another account or another player that, um, for example, Sculptor gives crit rate increase. You could technically have a Sculptor buff you every time you're out of duel. And then another tip is, if you win the duel, so if you don't die, as long as you don't die, you will keep your buffs, and you can go straight back to dueling again. So you only want to rebuff when you die. That's why if you have potions on your auto slot, you'll see that when you um, come out of a duel and go back into a duel, and, you didn't, and you're the one who won, you don't have to rebuff. And that's because when you die, you don't have to rebuff. Or if you don't die, you don't have to rebuff. If you do die, you do have to rebuff. Who did the last hit though? Did I do the last hit? Sweet. And I got third with me dying like five times. I should be I should be like 500k plus, but I was focusing on trying to get my I was focusing on trying to get my stream stuff set up. If anybody is like, why the heck is man so low on such an easy boss fight? Yeah, I should have been a lot higher, just didn't have my stuff set up correctly. Somebody's celebrating it. That's funny. Uh, if y'all don't know, this hat's really nice. It gives you a plus 10% movement speed buff. You get them from Roshu Balls. And I just wear it. I just had this hat on the side. And I can just wear it whenever I want to. Whenever I'm doing like quests and stuff, I'll put a hat on. It'll let me run super quick with my speed potions and stuff. Which I need to throw on. I'll throw on the big ones. So they can have them. Or actually, I have the green ones. I'll use the green ones. Okay, I'm gonna open these chests since I got yellow. Yeah. That's just a rare. I'm good. Black dye is really good. That's worth 250k. Some crystal chests. Material. Gold. Tier 3 rare equipment. And some red sunstones, I got a bunch of those. I don't really need those. I've been farming in Scorch, the Scorchlands area. Which is 113 to 120. The maps change every single week it seems. At least from what uh, my friends have been talking about. I actually need to go back to town. So I have my, I have my return point set up to the XP uh, Iana. She gives you your XP back. So I died a bunch in that dungeon, so I'm going to try to get a little bit of my XP back. That's it, not a big deal because I wasn't really paying attention to begin with. I've already used it once, so I'll get a little chunk of my XP back. And I'll go ahead and do some... I'm going to go craft some mats. So any, if you have items in your storage, you actually, when you go to craft mats, I've, I've learned, or it seems to me, that when you have mats in your storage, it will just automatically use them when you're crafting things. At least that's how it seems to be in my experience. Like, I don't think I have any iron ore or anything on me. So it's letting me, it's saying that I can craft that type of stuff. So I want to make silver hunter's arrows. What do we need? Advanced iron ingots. How do I make advanced iron ingots? I need transmutation. Oh. I didn't mean to click that. Sorry, guys. If you want to get advanced, so I don't know if y'all know this or not. If you want to get a um, transmutation agents, you need to go to Helen. Or any general goods merchants, and you can just buy like a bunch from here. So I can transfer all of my iron to advanced iron. There we go. Sweet. And I'll go ahead and make a bunch of these. And then just use these to other form. If I do any duels or PvP, I like to use the big the big yellow ones but right now i'm just not doing that it's still trying to tell me the guild raids up that's so annoying i missed the guild raid today i didn't think that screen would be annoying me all day so i'm gonna go kill some of these thieves and get the side quest on i should be strong enough now sorry for the screen if i keep i don't know if you can see it on your side yeah, you can. Sorry about that. 
Make sure to collect these books every day to hit max. You can use, sometimes they'll give you memos and you can use those memos in your collection. So I got an adventurer's journal. Eventually it'll give you a little bit of weight increase. Nothing crazy, but it's just nice to have. Yeah, so I should be able to kill these dudes pretty easily. I'm not losing like any HP. I shouldn't set this to collect anything. It should be good. Get some of these killed. Don't collect these boxes. This give you doesn't give you Christmas material. You can make the craft Christmas mats. So you got a present and a snowflake. So you can actually make Christmas uh, bows and Christmas shields and Christmas axes and all that stuff. You just gotta keep collecting those every day until you get enough material. Also, do the the rainbow thread quest. Like whenever you do a chaos dungeon, you can do a repeatable quest, and that'll give you rainbow threads that you can use to make decorative material too. And some of the decorative items that you get eventually should make a. Um, I'm gonna turn jump flex on. But eventually, you should be able to make a set bonus. So eventually, some of them should give set bonuses. Oh, that was so close. Why did I do that? That was bugging me. Alright, since I'm streaming for y'all, I'm gonna throw on an hour buff. So I can get some of that movement speed up. You know what, I will go ahead and throw this on. Just so that y'all aren't sitting here like kind of painting that all day. There we go. Moving like the wind now. Super fast. My movement speed should be really high right now. 150%. I don't know, is that a cap? Is that a limit? Is it capped at a 150%? Oh, it's capped at 150%. Okay, well, I'll need to be using all these potions then, huh? What's he running away for? So we... There we go. Now we're doing damage more. Like I said, if anybody has any questions, they can ask me and I'll answer to the best of my knowledge anything I can. It can be about, it doesn't have to be anything, it can be anything. So, elemental dungeons, it can be guild reads, it can be stats, allegations, sculptor questions. I have a sculptor that I play. PvP question. You can ask anything you want to. I've actually gotten some good, some good duels with really high people. Uh, I would usually rank top hundred, but I, I didn't play it all today. I did it all yesterday, and I was all the way up to thirtieth or something like that. But you can see I got knocked down pretty far. I beat some high people on this on this account. This account has a Cyclops. I went ahead and re-rolled for a Cyclops. I feel like having a heroic is really good. I had another account I actually spent 60 bucks on and I ditched it to be on an account that I re-rolled with a heroic pit. I feel like it's just so much better. So I can actually beat, I can actually beat some of these high level people with the setups that I have. Just cause, just cause Archer, I feel like Archer is a lot better to use skillfully. I feel like you can, you can use Archer a lot skillfully with the CCs and stuns they have than you can with what I was playing before, which is a Sculptor. They don't have a lot of like guaranteed CCs. It, it just makes it hard. Like I can actually run up to somebody, stun them, run away to say, like to get my stun cooldown going, then go back up to them to stun them again. And I can actually work out like combos and stuff where other classes I feel like don't have that as much. I think Paladin and Warrior do, which makes them pretty strong too. I think Mage has a good damage combo. 
I know, I think Alchemist has a good uh, damage combo too. But I feel like CC, CC is like just really strong. If you can just CC your opponent and they can never do anything, you just win. Right? Like, I'm going to get the bet actually. I'll do that on stream. I'll show y'all me getting the bet. I have a tip that you can do. If you have a transformation potion, which I don't think I have any, so I'll go kill Lizardman. I think if you kill Lizardman, you have a chance of getting a transformation potion. And what you can do is enemies won't attack you if you're transformed into a monster. So if I use a transformation potion, I can then um, go through a high level area to 160 and not have to worry about somebody attacking me. And I'll actually do that for y'all. It will take a while, but I think y'all will like it. Nice little tilt. Need to be killing warriors. Need a little warrior spawn. These are not warriors. This is what we need. It wants us to go all the way. Okay. This looks like a good gathering spot, by the way. That little patch right there. Big patches like that. That's the type of gathering spots you're looking for. Why is it attacking right here? This is like such a bad location. Kill this guy. My hedgehog's doing 1.2k right now. I'm not a will or anything. I'm not like super high up or crazy. And also this account started about five days later or more. But I'm having fun. I mean, this is really like a nice fun account to play with. I'm just gonna run around trying to get these quests done quick for y'all. Oh, I'm so fast, I love it. I love movement speed. It just feels so smooth. I feel like thieves are like the worst thing. I'm gonna turn world chat off because people say not weird, like super weird stuff. So I'm not using LD player right now, but on my other accounts, like um, sometimes I'll run a fishing account. I ran, I ran fishing in me like a, a, on the LD player. I ran my fishing on my other account for 12 hours straight without any crashes. I didn't disconnect at all. So that's what I've been using as LD player. Not sponsored, just affiliated. Just want to say that. And I heard, um, I've heard of other people using other things that, uh, have been crashing a lot, and I just haven't had any problems with this, so that's fine, one of them. And I'm making suggestions for, I know one other, I know there's one other one that I'm okay with, other than LD player, but I don't like many other ones, personally. This seems like a really good warrior spot. I've had four of them in a row. If you're wondering why I'm using the hedgehog, I don't know why I'm using the hedgehog. Somebody somebody in my club was using it and got really high score on raid balls and he has like no good gear and it's like, I'll use it. I'll try it and see. Why not? I'll probably swap out for like a cooler looking animal, but this one's like a, it's like a hedgehog that's white and black and does like a bunch of, that's decent damage, nothing crazy. But I thought it would just be fun to use him. I actually like the wormies a lot, but their damage is like nowhere near as high. Yeah, he's not doing anywhere near that much damage. Also, the hedgehog has a chance to give bleed, and since the attack gets really high, it bleeds really nice. I think pet build is really good for PvE, and I want to try to make it work for PvP. But if I can get my PvE and like speed up everything, I'll be able to get to a point at which I can switch to a PvP build once I'm 150. 
When someone saved me, I can switch to a Jolly build, or, or 200 even. But I definitely want to get a lot more PvE than I am going to get a lot more PvP. Because I know, I know I can get up top 100 every single time, but I want to get, I want to get into like good arena matches. I want to be able to get top 5, and I can't do that unless I'm able to grind PvE. And then this is the best way, as far as I've seen, pet is the best way to go for PvE. At first you'll think, nah, there's no way, but once I level this up a lot, once I get this up a lot, my pet damage is going to be stacked. It's going to be folded over top of itself, like, going to get there to those 15k marks where my pet damage is 15k. And I would just be one-shotting some of these mobs. I think that's the goal. I think that's a really nice goal. I have another account, I think, I have another account I'm working on, if you have an account that you're not really, like, you don't really care about, you get like fish for 12 hours, go and buy the materials, like, you, yeah, I'm going to show this off, I don't know how to show this off, god I hate that red butt marker, if you go to materials and go to loot, and buy the blues, so go from grade down, and I'll show you like the lowest tier blues. And you can see there's a bunch of these clubs, and they're 40k each. You could buy these and do alchemy on them, and turn them into things worth millions, or 500k, or 250k for just some like fish. I don't know if I have any fish on me right now, but oh, dude, do. do you have a bunch of like 100 of those, 50 of these, just blue fish, some white fish. I do alchemy on them, and that's like a good source of money. If you get really lucky, you get like 11 mil. Uh, but I'm also just a gambler. I like gambling. I like RNG. I might save up a bunch of those crystallizations just to do a crystallization pool. For fun. I also, I have outline on. So if anybody is wondering anything, I have view outline turned on. And that seems that makes the game look a lot nicer in my opinion. See if I can find some more. I need to get one more warrior kill. See if we can just find them. Should be around here somewhere, I'm sure. There we are. We're just gonna get him out of here. Move on to our next quest. What? what? Did we not kill him? That's weird. I must not draw what I needed. I missed it? No, that's my fault. Here we go. Now let's teleport over here. I won't put y'all through the pain of walking a lot. Actually, there's another thing about having another account is I saved a lot of my picture frames up. And I just used a lot of speed buffs in order to do a lot of my quests instead of spamming the Instead of spamming these pictures, I actually have 400, and on my other account I have like 100, after I bought 500k worth. But once you're making millions of gold, it doesn't really matter, you can just buy so many of them. I think you can buy them like daily. I think in the future a lot of that stuff will become irrelevant. Sorry, I'm getting sleepy. I actually need to check and see... So I bought the accessory pack, but I actually need to buy... I need to buy these pots every day. I 
Let's crack these open. Run crazy. Run crazy. Make sure you get this though. Right. Collect shattered glass bottles. How many do I need? Ten. Okay. This is the one that I need to do fishing for, I'm pretty sure. Something you can buy. You can't buy glass, can you? You can only get that from fishing. Okay, I'm not going to do that one anytime soon. I'll do it later. Not a big deal. Buy 10 cardiac stimulants. I'm already right here, so I got to buy this. This. There we go. I need about 10 of these. Oh, nope. Isn't this game's like really memory intensive? So it like lags sometimes. My phone's uh, I'm using a Samsung 10e, and it still sometimes has these little lag issues. And it also has like a weird border. Weird screen border. I don't know why that is. I think it might just be my phone, though. And I think this is just gonna give me a repeat quest. I don't want to do that. Okay. Ten potatoes. Get the shield. Okay. Let's get the shield. I'm getting low battery. I'll crack open the water. Make sure you guys stay hydrated too. I think it's because uh, my phone, well, I don't know if this is for sure, but my phone has a camera on the screen in the corner and the cuts off right before the camera screen. I just wish when I was doing this recording, any like recording things or anything like that, the black bars would, it would show the full screen instead, it would be nice. Let's so need 30 transmutation agents. And I'm just going to shower these pots for no reason. So like I said, if you talk to, or if you go to purchase from the any general goods merchants, you can buy 30 of these. Or you can buy, I mean, you can buy them where you want, but I can buy 30 for the quest. Taking a sip of water. Just let me know if everything's running smoothly. Just testing out the stream for tonight. I'm going to be doing the update. And as soon as the update is done, I'm going to go live. Or I might go live a little bit before the update. But um, hopefully Mergen Tower is really fun. Hopefully... Yeah, you can you can break vases and you can break little these little like boxes that are around the market, but I've never seen them give anything. I don't know what they do. It might be for like a hidden quest or something maybe. But always make like I I like try to break those and I try to do any um. Definitely doing the hidden quest is done. So I get some extra little gold. I talk to them again and get the. Always make sure you have this quest up. I'm going to go do Ming's question of the day real quick. Let's see what her question is today. I am not ready, but I will give my best shot. 
Uh, Undying Legion sounds like it's great. Alright. And that's her Chaos Engine. This is her Daily Dungeons. If you want material, or if you want mer- I won't let me click on the heck, there we go. If you want furniture, this guy can sell some furniture. And if you want to craft furniture, you can actually craft furniture with this person, Borsh. And if you want to, let's see here, craft costumes, so you can craft Christmas trees, various different Christmas, like Christmas weapons and decorations, and a bunch of different armor or Christmas armor from this person. I really want to get a cloak, I think it would be really cool. But it takes a lot of these threads, and you get these threads. You can actually get them, if you have like a bunch of Chaos Dungeons saved up, just hold this person. She'll give you a quest for Chaos Dungeons, I'm pretty sure. So she'll ask you, clear, and then if you do Chaos Dungeons, you'll always get a bunch of rainbow threads from that. And then, I don't think it costs too much. I gotta run away and run back to talk to her. Well, I'm just bad at tapping. Oh no, she's doing, she's just stuck in animation. So, Penguin Hat, I get 15 of these. And then, I'm, at, I'm already at 22. If I get 8 more, I can actually get a Penguin Hat. I can actually just spam Chaos Dungeons and get a bunch of thread and do the, do that. But I don't really want that. I want to get a cloak. I think a cloak would be really cool. So there's gloves, there's cloaks, helmets. Armors. Some of these armors are really cool too. And so you can use it and get that stuff. And you clip it to your deco. And make it darker with those and lock it and keep it forever and look really snazzy. You'll look you look better than other people. I don't know what this person's wearing. This person's got a little little hat with the little thing on it. Deliver 25 Tranquil Candles. So I do actually do my review quest. I like to do a lot of my review quest stuff. Speed. Okay, well, take my candles. I don't know if the store did I don't know what I was do. There we go. So I do have a Cyclops buddy. He speeds up a lot of my XP gain. I also have the Henchman buff on right now, which is really good. Because your character can just go straight to killing things without having to go loot. Which means you actually get more XP faster. And then I have my house set up, so I can just return straight to home. So after I do my request, I'll go straight to home and I can get some more requests. I don't have to go to town and then run over to my house. Make it take longer. Nothing good today, though. I don't have ginger tea. I have Deadly Poisons, so I can do this one. I have Solid Bones, so I can do this one. So I need 25 Deadly Poison. This. Oh, that's not, that's not, that's bottled. This is a Deadly Glow. I need 25 of that. I need Big Bones, pretty sure it said. Solid bones, maybe? It's solid big, let's find out. Oh, it needs solid. What was that? That was a solid bone? Okay, sweet, we're in the gold. Alright, let's go deliver these real quick for a quick XP. Yeah, from this box and stuff. So, the little notes 
Sorry, I, I saw your message earlier. The little notes give you memoirs and stuff, usually. The boxes, crates, and treasure chests give you materials that you can use to craft the Christmas gear. And then they'll give you an enrage, a rage elixir, usually, I'm pretty sure. And I haven't seen it much else. Sometimes they'll give you a mysterious uh, capsule. And you use the mysterious capsule. You can use the mysterious capsule in your collection or open it up and add the uh, little toy into your collection. Or throw it into your house to make your house look cute. I'm not really a house house decorator person though, personally. I'm getting a sip of water. That gives me a little bit of XP. 114. So I started four days ago and I'm 114. And I don't have the 500% XP buff. I just have this really amazing pet for PvP. Make sure you do your dailies every day so you can get your 10 butterfly wings. Go ahead and crack these open. Nothing crazy. Let's go to this side close. Serene plan. Gotta make sure my battery is charged on my phone. So this is good. Seems everything's running smooth. I haven't had any problems, it looks like. I'm only running at 720p, but that's because some other issues and problems. I don't want to have any more issues than I need. But, I mean, 720p should be fine for most people. Oh, did they have, oh my hedgehog leveled up. So I'll use one of these to speed speed up the killing. I actually set this to quest monster. So at least try to prioritize quest monsters. Oh, there's a bunch of them piled up right there. That's really good. I actually do this speed up. Oh. I don't know why you're attacking him. I almost killed the. I'm gonna do an AoE, it should kill him. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, this area looks really good for farming mats if you need apples and I like apples, iron, and stone will be really good here, along with pumpkins. Double bow squad. He's just doing basic attacks though, he's not doing anything. That almost looks like. Every once in a while he does a charge attack, I think. It's not really that great. Like I said, if anybody has any questions, just let me know. I'll try to answer them the best of my ability. I'm just trying to test all the stream, make sure everything runs good for a while. I'm going to be streaming the Merkin Tower tonight. So. I'll put that in the description.
Here we go. So it said I can turn into quests, but I'm not done killing these yet. So I don't know what I said that for. Kind of weird. There's no spider. So I'm running a pet build. I have my agility and min for the weapon. Which right now is 70. And then I have 104 charm. 105 now actually. And I'm just increasing my pet, my pet ability every time. I'm just kind of chilling. I'm actually about to die. What the heck? Why am I going to die all of a sudden? Maybe I got poisoned or something. Oh, weird. I got the 50k HP pot or the 50,000 gold pots from the gold market, so I usually heal a lot anyway. Never gotten that low before. Well, I have, I mean, I've died, but I mean, like, fighting these guys. Never that happened before. Hey, look, this guy's clearing out all the stuff. I actually like it when there's less mats on the screen. I don't care about the troll. I just want to find more spiders to kill. Well, the troll doesn't want me to move. Apparently. I'm okay, gonna kill him. He keeps stunning me. A hedgehog here. Oh, there it is. I see it now. A little tiny dot on my screen. Oh, they're lagging all of a sudden. That's not good. That's my phone lagging too, by the way. That's not. That's not the internet. That's not like. uh it's just like the phone or the game. I don't know. I gotta fix that tonight. I don't want that to happen while I'm playing for you guys. I'm doing the new update stream. Yeah, I don't want it to be so weird right now. Turn my quality to low, maybe. Nope, didn't help at all. I don't know why it's being like that. Maybe 30 frames per second will be better. That's real annoying. I'm trying to get the spider kills. Well, there's lots of spiders right here. This was a terrible idea. I made many mistakes just now. This is when you admit that you, you made mistakes trying to get over that many mats or uh, monsters. And then some of them I live. Sweet. I need to kill like seven more of these. Or no, I need to collect more mats. So I might actually kill more than that. I don't like accidentally targeting that guy. Trolls stun so much. It's annoying.
So I need three more of those and I'll be good with that. How's y'all's day been? It's getting close to night for me. It's uh almost 10 p.m. for me. Don't know what time it is for y'all. If y'all wanna see it, it'll be y'all. What kind of request on? Ten PM. Hey. East Coast. That means you're East Coast. What's up? Well, yeah, East Coast basically, or the Eastern, Western Hemisphere. So we can go do this. I'll just run 150 meters. I got all the speed buffs on. Should be pretty quick. Ooh. That just re that reminds me of Game Informer for some reason. I don't know why. Or not Game Informer. It makes me think of Game Fact. I don't know why GA makes me think of Game Fact. I know what it means, Georgia, but that's literally like uh, the first thing I thought of. Is that it? This is all the side quests? That was not worth it. That was, that was dumb. Well, I will say I am disappointed. So that's Georgia, right? GA is Georgia. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I, I definitely got a D in geography, so it's pretty bad, not gonna lie. Sweet. Georgia is home of the peach, right? Isn't that the peach state? Or is it a different state? It's like everybody, Georgia peach, right? That's what it is. That's what everybody like says. Or, or, that's like the main attraction, I suppose, it would be. Man, I hate peaches. They're too fuzzy and sweet. And they're used for butt emojis. <laughs> I don't I don't like peaches, but I was just joking. I like uh I don't really like that many fruits, I like apples or watermelons, cantaloupe, stuff like that. Not really, I don't like peaches or blueberries, strawberries, I don't like any of that stuff. Face tanking? Uh, probably because I have a I have a pet for one. Pet helps a lot. I have an archer, another archer with me, and then I have stuns. Archer, I don't know what class you're playing, but archer has a lot of stuns. And if, if I can CC a lot of these classes, I can get a huge mob, like a huge group of mobs, and just AOE them with a stun. When I was playing Archer, you like can't do that. Archer, or not Archer. When I was playing Sculptor, I couldn't like do that. I could get a bunch of them together. I have a lot of AOE attacks that I could use to kill them, but I couldn't CC them, so I could actually die pretty quick. And especially if they CC'd me. But since Archer has so many CCs, I could just CC them all and stay alive. And I mean, these are 
Uh, actually, they're actually higher level than me. They're mon. Although they're gonna say they're lower level than me, but nah, they're not. I'm wearing, I'm using. Oh, I gotta get rid of my cloak. I'm using purple arrows. Does anybody want to know that? I think it's just. I think it's just because of the pet. I have. I have using a pet build, and I think that helps a lot. Cause sometimes he'll get aggro or slow them down. Or yeah, like sometimes they'll attack. They'll like turn around and attack him. Even the archer is nice to you. He doesn't really do much. He just auto attacks. Actually, he literally does nothing. I think. Yeah, he's literally only doing like 20 damage per hit. What the heck? Dude? Oh, I guess he's level 6 because he's level 60. <laughs> he just exists. He does nothing. I didn't even realize that. I thought he was actually doing damage. My pet does more damage than him. That's sad. Uh, I'm not buying any tier 2 armor. If I'm going to buy legendary armor, I'm going to go for the best I can get. And somebody said that on the Korean server, you can get a tier 4 yellow weapon for free on floor 56 of Mergen Tower. Or some, some floor, you're supposed to be able to get a free tier 4 weapon. So I'm not going to invest in weapon at all. And I'm probably just going to only buy tier 3 armor. Uh... Right now, not max per se. I technically have seven, I have 40 or something in agility just so I can use the weapon. But I mean, the rest is in, is in charm, yeah. Which my pet does 3 to 3.5k right now. And that's with me. I invested a lot into my other skills. So that's, I actually need to get this up in order to have my build correct. And this is archers physical or not the pets attack up by 3.4 percent per one charm and i have 100 charms so my pets attack goes up 340 percent but then i also have a combat skill dynamic duo which increases attack pet by 5.6 percent per one charm and so that's another 560 percent like even more than that of course and that's at least 560 percent so my tax pet damage just stacks up really high and then it gives pets attack up by 83, which is just regular. So if I combine those together, it uh, makes my pets damage go up a lot. Makes it really high. Open up these chests every time you get a chance to. I believe. Make sure you get those mats. Oh, I'm on the Kala. Okay, I'm on the Kalakia class now. Okay. Um. I respect last night, but I'm trying to think before I say. I respect last night, but what I'll say is that people say that this is PVE only. So if you want to tear through the PVE part of the game, going charm build is recommended, supposedly. I would take that with a grain of salt. I don't know yet. I'm testing it because I don't care. Like, I, I'll just do whatever, really. Like, it's PvE, and I know that I'm good at PvP. Even with a pet build, I know I'll be good at PvP. Because I know how to play, I know how to play classes. I know to actually, like, I know how to play the game. Um, Archer is really good for that. Archer you can kill underhandedly, and it's because their CC is 100% chance. I'll guarantee to stun, I can stun combo somebody. So I don't mind using the pet build, and I actually want to see if I can make the pet build into a PvP build. Which, I'll actually do that right now. I need to do... So I can show something off to y'all, because I'm stuck on the, I'm going to be stuck on the Calicaia Claw thing for a little bit. I'll come over here, I don't know if Lizardman Valley is the best place to go, but we're going to go here. I'm going to try to get a potion, I'm gonna AF, I'll just AFK here. If y'all want to stay and watch up to y'all, when I get the potion, transformation potion I'm trying to get, um, I can actually teleport over to... Baron, or what is it called? I have to look at it on the map. But I can teleport all the way up to Rock Mountains. No, however far I've gone. All the way up here, it looks like. Or no, I've gone further than that. I can go... 
somewhere down here. But the point being that I can teleport down there and use my transformation potion. And when I use my transformation potion, I'll actually be able to get a... Uh, I'll actually be able to walk through all the mobs that are like level 150 and stuff and would just like one shot me. And they won't attack me because I'm transformed as a monster. They'll be like, oh, you're a monster, bro. You can just walk, walk by us, no biggie. And I can go and capture the ravine bat pet, which I want to use. For, I want to test it for PvP. It's not gonna be good for PV. It's not gonna be good for PVE. And I have it on my sculptor, and then it does pretty good. It's a fifty percent chance to silence. But if I'm transformed, I can go up there and capture it without dying like fifty times. I went negative ten percent XP. So I went all the way from 80% XP on my Sculptor, all the way down to negative 10% XP, trying to capture it. But it's not going to do a lot of damage, and for pet build, your pets do the most damage. But, oh, I got the, the weight buff salt just popped. But what happens is that if I use my CCs, He'll be another CC, he'll silence, and I'll actually be able to kill things regular, and he'll do a little bit of damage extra. It also makes his defense a lot higher, so they actually be able to stun more. I'll say this first in order to kill the boss, but I need to, I need to just farm these in general. I don't have to dismantle all my gear. There's not as long as uh, any purples I'll sell, but any blue gear I just dismantle. I actually need to set this to this. What I'm looking for is a potion, a usable potion that will drop some bombs. And I also have my inventory screen open while I kill stuff. See if I get it. No, I guess I don't need to. Let's watch the mobs drop. But every once in a while, you'll get a transformation potion from the lizard. Or you should. I don't know if there's a way. I don't think the codex shows their drop table. Yeah, so like I don't know I don't know who draws it. I just ended up getting it from Lizard Man, I'm pretty sure. I don't know any other way to get transformation potions quickly. I haven't done the quest yet, so there's no reason for it not to give it to me. Yeah, you attack? What's going on here? I'll turn it off back some of This is just gonna be me AFK for a bit, like I said, so if anybody wants to leave, they can leave the biggie. I'm just uh my main my main thing is just watching my game and making sure making sure I'm not lagging or anything, my voice is going through good. I'm gonna do this real quick though. I have these books. Okay, so I reached my daily moment for today. That's good. And I can add that to my collection. That's why I just sell them. And now I just need to wait and see if I can get this as a drop. Mm. 
I'm gonna get a drink of water. So make sure y'all guys are hydrating too. Dehydrated boys. Oh. Oh, somebody got it. Somebody opened the weapon chest. I have a lot of wells in my server. A lot of mats sold for like really ridiculous amounts. I actually. I'll take a break. I'll take a break for a second. Because this looks like this is going to be something that takes forever. I will do. I'll do some alchemy. One night, right? It's gonna take too long. I don't feel like waiting that long. I'm impatient right now. Okay. So you can use alchemy if you have fish. I don't have that many right now. So I can only craft a little bit. But you can use alchemy to craft fish to get catalyst. I need to level up my alchemy. I should level up actually now. Um Yeah, I don't want to do this. I don't have enough to make these. So I'll just make common ones. That's fine. I'll use these. I'll push those. Let's grab a couple. Oh, I need level 5. That's so far away. I would then the future to the biggie. But you can craft these and make RNG boxes that give better loot. Which is pretty awesome. That's what I'm gonna do in order to get my Calicaeus claws. A bunch of blue I have a bunch of blue stuff that I'm gonna turn into purple better. More Calicaeus claws. So I need to go and buy a bunch of fish. I'm actually going to bid on all these. And this actually can make you money. I made 30 mil today on my other account. Fishing and uh, using it all on alchemy. I can actually show, I can actually show it off. I think. I have much else to do on this account. Let me see here. I'm just making sure that this works. I don't want you to see something. I don't know if you guys will hear me, but if you can, just give me a second. I'm loading into a different account to show off how alchemy works. Alright, welcome back guys. So this is my old account that I was using. I mean, I still use it. But uh, mostly all he does is just, I just fish on this account, that's basically it. I literally just buy fish and buy mats and stuff. It's better now. 
Is it just these little ones? Alright, hopefully it's better. I shouldn't be having any problems. Should be able to run the house. Looks like it's good now, I think. Alright, so we're gonna go do alchemy. So, rock, surfboard castle, teleport to the end. And if you're like, Hoshi, why are you doing alchemy for? We only do alchemy to get the claws, because the claws aren't able to get unless you're level 140. Well, you can make money off of it if you're lucky. And I'm a gambler. I like to gamble. So I actually made, I actually got a Nubis weapon fragment worth 7 to 11 a million. Uh, Komosha's accessory worth 1 million. I got some bracelet worth like 500 to 700k, some other stuff worth 300k, this worth, uh, this is worth about a million, and I have a bunch of other blues and stuff that I can use. I come over here, and I craft these. So, common fish, I can use all my common fish, craft max, and I have, I have so many fish, I can craft tons of these. And then I can go over to these, use all of my green fish, craft some of these green ones. And I actually think I want to use my whites to craft more, yeah, I want to use my whites to craft more green ones. So I'll do that. And then I want to use my rare fish to craft some blue ones. And what you can do is, if you have heroic loot, which I do not have. Do I have any heroic loot that's not worth anything? Not only I don't. Do I have any in my box? Don't look like I do. I'm actually going to use these because they're not worth anything. I want to use all those. Pure's feather. No, pure feather is actually worth something. I have one claw on this account. I'm not using it for anything. Let's dismantle all of this. Yeah, my inventory. I don't need any of it. So what I could do is I can make a bunch of blue ones. I have all these blue mats. I don't want to use any. So, Claw, Hippogriff, Vaughn, all that's worth something. Wings are not really worth much to me. Key's not really worth much to me. Basket's eyes not really worth much to me. These are not really worth much. And I'll just craft Max. I can actually craft more, so let's see. Um, these aren't worth anything. And now it's just gambling. I'm a gambler. So I'll take... And then I basically just fish all these over bottom. So I have 20... I have 20... Or 19, technically, of these. And I'll just open up 10 at a time. And you just want to try to get a purple. Or hope that you get a purple. So... I think the Eden Solid Bone might be good. And I'll open up one... Open up one. Open up one. Open up one. I'm basically just hoping that I get a purple. Nope, used all my luck this morning, looks like. But, I mean, I can sell all these for more than what I put in was worth. Hammer, what I get, what is this worth? 245k. I got this necklace. Worth 150k. I got these, which are worth about 200k, no, 130k. 
So double, about double the value of everything I put in, roughly. Yeah, everything was worth about 50k, and I doubled it to about 100k on everything. What I really want is... I'll get this loot. It's like really costly things, weapon fragment, a monkey, or accessory. And yeah, this is worth like millions, it's really nice. So I'm gonna buy... These are worth 700k. Ripley tokens worth 800k. So I want to buy two. Uh, none of these instant bolts. I want to insta buy that. None of that stuff's insta buying though. I need all the money already. No way from the bids. So I got a bunch of rewards for fishing. This is how much this account's fish. 10,000, it hit 10,000 a day. Of dies, these were 250k gold each. I really want to do these purple ones for real, but I don't, I don't have any purples. I know for sure that. This is not gonna, like, there's no point in doing this one. Well, it's worth one mil. I'm paying 700k. I could do this, I guess. Oh, it's my bid on it. Okay. I'll have to shut it off next time. But this is just my fishing account. I can open up those whenever I want to and dump them in. I have more. Uh, you make these, but that's not really the point. This is fun, I guess. Why not? But with the with the heroic ones, you actually have a chance of getting the heroic uh, crystallizations. You have a chance of getting the yellow gear. So if I ever hit that point one percent chance, that's gonna be worth. Not yellow gear, but yellow material. Those are worth 100 million. 80 million. Somewhere between 80 to 100 million. If you hit that 0.1% chance. Which no one's bidding on any of that, I don't think. I just don't think it's possible. I don't know if anybody has that much money yet. You would have like, you actually have to straight up buy the gold to like even be able to bid on that stuff. Even under the 10 million one, I don't even think anybody would ever bid on my newest weapon fragment. I can actually check and see. No, there's one, the cheapest one up right now, 8 million. So I actually need to take this down and put it lower. 7 million seems to be what people were buying them for on other servers, so I'll put it up to 7 mil. Not a big loss. Or I mean, technically a big loss, but nobody's going to join it, so it's not lost at all. And so this account's up to Kade. He hasn't even made it to the Kalakia spear part yet, so I need to actually get two more of those. And I have a bunch of different hidden quests and stuff. I don't even know how to do the unidentified drink. I don't know how to get an unidentified drink yet. I gotta deliver moon touchstone fragments or whatever. I gotta get 20 milk. I got delivered fish, which I think I just used on my fish, so I don't think I can do that. And then I had to deliver a basket. Uh, let me see if I actually have one of those. I'm gonna do that now, I might as well. Sweet. Yep, that's me. You're welcome. Alright, I think that's gonna be it for today though. Like I said, um I've been using the L D player emulator on my other account, or not my other account, but when I'm using my laptop. 
Uh, there is another emulator that's good that you could use, but there's some that crash a lot and I've tried personally. LD Player is what's been working for me, but so if you want to help me out, you can go in the description below and use the LD Player. Other than that, I'll catch you guys next time. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a good day.